Hello everyone. Um, inspired by aquaponics, um, I decided to uh, make my own aquaponics system. Um, I just want to start off with a picture of my pond and my koi. I love these guys. These guys are awesome. Pretty cool. They're starting to uh, be a lot more active with the uh, recent uh, um, with the heat and uh, starting to come alive and grow. But anyways, go over here to my aquaponic system, and uh, here is a picture of my two grow beds. And uh, I'd like to maybe just start off with my, uh, I guess I'll start off with my fish tank. Let's see if I can explain uh, what I've got going on in here. Uh, let's see. This is a 300 gallon um, uh, container that I converted into a fish tank. The um, it's uh, being, uh, it's got water being recirculated uh, and moved around by 100 watt uh, pond pup that I picked up at uh, at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, if you can see it down there, I've got uh, approximately 25 uh, tilapia. I've got a couple of heaters um, in there, submersible heaters that keep the uh, the fish tank uh, nice and warm for the fish. Um, keep it around uh, about uh, 82 degrees, 80 degrees. It's a little cold right now, but um, the fish are happy. Uh, the pump recirculates uh, the water into three different directions. Um, first of all, it runs up and uh, back into the tank so that there could be, um, so the water recirculates. I added, I added a, uh, a Venturi um, aeration hole. Um, so that when the water goes through there, and, uh, it uh, sucks in air and uh, creates um, uh, little bubbles down at the bottom. Uh, helps with the aeration and uh, oxygenates the, uh, the, uh, the water. The second uh, um, line goes into this uh, biofilter I created. Um, what I did is I picked up this, uh, this tote at Walmart. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe it's a... 10 gallon tote um, and the water goes into the bottom of the fish tank and slowly it goes back up to the other uh, top and it, uh, it just uh, drains right back into the fish tank and it just clears up the, uh, the water and uh, gives the, uh, the bacteria a place to grow uh, to help with the, uh, um, with the, uh, the cycling of the, uh, the fish tank. Then the third line that I have actually runs out into my grow bed, and it's this one. All of it's set up with a series of valves that control how much water goes where, and it goes over to my two uh, grow beds. Uh, I've got two tables and two, uh, um, uh, I don't know, I guess the containers, the bottom of the containers, the top and the bottom of the containers. I cut it in half and. Um, use the other uh, frame of a cage for uh, for support um, growing medium I'm using a uh, hydrogen it's really really easy to work with soft it's good um, I picked up uh, some seedlings in this tank uh, and uh, I've got uh, bell peppers growing up here and I've got tomatoes growing here and then I've got uh, jalapeno peppers growing here it um they did the transplant. Uh, they took the transplant fairly well, and uh, uh, they seem to be happy. I planted them uh, two days ago, so uh, looks good. They get plenty of scent over here. Um, the system is a flood and drain system, um, and I'm using a bell siphon. Uh, here it is, right here. It's a two-inch bell siphon, uh, two-inch cap. You know, I, I tried different ways of uh, doing this bell siphon, and uh, I did the one that had the uh, um, that line that goes through here, and I drilled the holes, and I, I found that this works really well, and haven't had a problem with it. I've been running it, I've been cycling this thing for a few weeks before I put the seedlings in. It's working great. Um, the one thing that I did find was the um, well, a few things. Um, one thing that I found out was there's some kind of correlation between um, the diameter of the drain at the top 
versus the diameter of the line that it's draining out of. Um, the top has a, uh, a one inch drain um, and then it, I reduced it down to one inch, I'm sorry, to a half inch. So it's from a one inch up here to a half inch down here. And it just, it works great. Haven't had a problem. It looks like it's about to, um, to fill. Uh, I didn't go with a real deep um, medium. Um, it's a, uh, I think I went with, um, I think it goes down about two inches. I don't know if it's deep enough, but I mean, it's enough to keep the other uh, plants from, um, from falling over. And if I need some more support, I'll just go ahead and, uh, put up some string or something. Got a little neighbor coming over here to, uh, be part of the, uh, the, uh, the video here. My uh, flood and drain system looks like the second one is about to uh, to drain. It's the same kind of bell siphon, one inch down to half inch. Uh, it's going to kick in. They both drain into this uh, one tank down here that I've got. Um, I've got a, uh, a sump pump in there with a float that once it reaches a certain level, it kicks in and uh, it returns uh, back into the fish tank. Uh, I've got some duckweed growing in there. and. Uh, I've got one little goldfish in there with some, uh, some aquatic plants. I mean, it's basically a fish tank. Might as well throw, uh, throw a couple of fish in there. You know, I'm sure they'll, they'll love it. A little, a little condo. Anyway, it's draining now. I did add a strap to this container. It was, it was just bulging, and it, was, it looked like it was going <laughs> to fall over. So I put this tight, uh, the strap here to, uh, to hold it in place, and uh, it's doing okay training. Yeah, working with these bell siphons was was real tricky. I mean, the trial and error on so many different things. There's so many videos that helped me out on uh, on YouTube. Um, Afnan has a really good uh, site. Vincent Van Goat, I believe it is his name. Um, he's got a, a really great breakdown on how it works. Um, but there's tons of them. Those are the two I really use the most. Uh, they are draining now. Uh, the first one is uh, about to finish up and you'll hear a burp. So it'll stop soon. Yes. Ah, my pump kicked in, let me show you. The line returns back into the fish tank. I put a Venturi um, aeration deal on this thing too, so there's a little hole sucking in air. I don't know if you can see that, but every time it drains, it uh, it creates all this, uh, all these, uh, all the air in there. So it aerates the water as it returns, which is always good. Lots of lots of air going through there. Feed the fish a little bit. See if I can get them from up here. There they are. There they go. Anyway, if you guys have any uh, any advice or any suggestions. Um, Please feel free to uh, just drop me a line. Let me know what you think. I always like feedback. And uh, I'd like some comments. But uh, just a lot, a lot of fun uh, experiment. I'm looking forward to um, to harvesting some some good, good vegetables uh, soon. Uh, have some nice salads and stuff. But uh, anyway, have a good day.